Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Shadron State College Live. For two years, this has become a very familiar welcome to our Friday or Saturday afternoons or evenings. It became our place to escape reality and enjoy things in the sports realm and watch Shadron State's terrific athletes perform on the court, field, or the mat. And Garner puts a charge into this one. This might do it. And it's gone, a walk-off home run for Kinsey Garner. Eight-run rule in effect. The Eagles walk it off in six, and what a way to end the season. Great job, Kinsey Garner, on the swing. Congratulations to the Shatters the Eagles as they win. And they will win the final game of the season. Again, eight nothing. Your score, Shadron State takes this one. This game concludes the Spring Athletics broadcasting schedule for CSC Live. The next CSC Live events are Ivy Day and Spring Commencement. Ivy Day honors graduating seniors from academic programs across campus and is set for 7.30 p.m. on Friday, May 3rd. Spring Commencement is set for 10 a.m. on Saturday, May 4th. To watch CSC Live broadcasts, visit ShadronState.tv. On behalf of the entire CSC Live team, this is Ethan Stray, and it has been a great pleasure to tell you the stories of our athletes over the past two seasons. I hope we will meet again sometime in the future on the airwaves or at a CSC athletic event. I leave you with this. When in times of uncertainty, uncertainty, go out and follow your dreams as it has led me to this great position to be talking to you. Thank you for joining us this season, and we look forward to bringing you more athletic action and campus coverage for Shadron State College this fall. I made my final call for CSC Live back in April as the Eagles softball team took on Black Hill State, and what a way to end it with a walk-off for Kinsey Garner and the Eagles in the final game of the season. It has become... Really a crazy roller coaster of a ride through my journey of being a broadcaster, but I've enjoyed the past two years I've spent with you all. From volleyball to football and then basketball in the wintertime along with men's wrestling this year. And then in the spring softball season, always a joy to call those games as well. I've been alongside every triumph and every downfall for the Eagles and most of their athletic events every storybook evening, and even the challenging nights where perseverance fell short. It is only fitting as I end this chapter of my journey with you to share some of the moments in my time as a broadcaster. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Shadron State College Live. Tonight, the Shadron State College Eagle Volleyball Team takes on the visiting Adam State Grizzlies. I'm Ethan Stray, your student broadcaster for this evening's contest. CSC Live is a member of the RMAC network and includes a number of students operating cameras and helping out with many aspects of the production you're now watching. To watch broadcast, visit ShadronState.tv. Well, your Shadron State College Eagle volleyball team is back in action after their Monday loss against number five Wayne State. They lost that one in three sets, 11 to 25, 13 to 25, and 10 to 25. Your Eagle star of the game was Mason Fago with five kills and one block. It was a bit of a, a bit of a struggle on Monday, but we're hoping to get back into that action with a conference matchup tonight. The Eagles in the game against Wayne State had 20 kills, had 16 airs, 100 and 102 attempts. So a hitting percentage, it was very low, so they look to improve upon that tonight. Um, and then within that, they also had um, only one service ace, unfortunately. So we'll see if they can get those numbers up tonight. And a nice kill there by Point number Eagles. two, Lexi Hurtado. The seven now serving the for Shadron State is number Riley five, Riley Griman. Griman. 
Nice serve over the net. The set. Good bump there. And a whistle and a two touch violation. Point Adam State. Goes against the Eagles. Now serving Corey for the Grizzlies, Grizzlies, number three, Aileen Bugas. Aileen Bugas back at the service line for the Grizzlies. Fugo took that serve and now we are, Hurtado sir, spikes it into a block. Block point, a solid Adam block by Adam State there. So an attacking air for the Hard Rockers. As Lacey, nice serve there, tip over, nice read by Hernandez, and Hurtado off the block for a kill. And here come the Eagles. Still dangerous territory for the Eagles as the Hard Rockers only need two more points to win the match. Hurtado, roll shot over the block for a kill. And the entire Shadron sideline exploded after that one. Absolutely incredible run by the Eagles as Lacey is still at the service line. Shallow serve there, picked up and handled by the Hard Rockers. And the attack goes into the antenna, point Eagles, and we are tied at 23. What an incredible run. Might have to look at the history books for this one. This is an absolutely incredible run by Shadron State. And a nice block there from Adams and Hurtado. Gibson is blocked by Adams and Kirkwood. And the attack will go wide. Point Eagles, set point number one in set three for Shadron State. They have all the momentum right now and they are just rolling. and the Eagles will fight off the Hard Rockers and we will go to set number four. Absolutely outstanding job by the Eagles fighting adversity and they will make it to set number four. I guess thinking to the future real quick for the postseason, Griman could get more kills there to add to her career total and get to 500 before she is done as a CSC player. A nice pancake there from Alexia Hurtado as Ward will send it over, making breakfast on the Eagles side we are with that nice pancake dig by Alexi Hurtado. And into the hands of the Grizzlies, loose ball tracked down by Tanabe and she'll get a miraculous pass behind her to Worrell to keep that ball alive. It was going out of bounds and she just saved it at the last possible second. Finley, I believe has only tried three beyond the arc tonight and there's Powers driving to the basket for two. Around the arc goes to passing by the Eagles. Counts out to Tanabe. Tanabe, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Olsen, Worrell, Worrell shedding the defender for three and she gets it. A deep three well beyond the arc. Three by the Eagles is good by Tanabe. The CSU Pueblo offense. Latimer will slow things down and track traffic once again. Latimer try getting a roll shot unsuccessful. Three point attempt is good in the corner for Jarrett Taylor and a whistle and a 30 second charge timeout to the Thunderwolves. And bounding the ball is Jefferson. Jefferson into McLaughlin. McLaughlin back to Jefferson. 
Jefferson driving towards the basket. He'll back it back out. McLaughlin opens shot for three, and he'll get it. Nice shot by McLaughlin for three. And a nice defensive rebound, really taking away two points on the board there was Porter Anderson. So the ball was still spinning on the rim. Six point advantage for the Eagles. Johansson, an interception by a defensive lineman for Shadron State, Kobe Whipple with a pick six. And the coach's box for Shadron State just exploded next door as everybody jumping up with excitement. The Eagles sideline, excitement all around. What a pick six. Man, oh man, and the Eagles are now up on top of the Hard Rockers. They'll get the snap off at one. Pass goes to Cox over the middle. Cox still on his feet, stumbles, dives into the end zone for a touchdown. Fire off the cannons as Shadron State scores another touchdown. Hamilton in at quarterback. He will toss it to Thomas. Thomas routes back, finds a hole, and he's in there for the score. Touchdown, Shadron State. Fire off the cannon. Also had a single in that seventh inning in game one. She smokes this ball to center field, and it is gone. A home run to dead center. And the Eagles will go up three to one on a two run homer by Hinchinski here in the bottom of the second. And a swing and a miss, strike three on Mullen. And Farnsworth is rolling right now with the strikeouts. And Shotton will be the next batter for the Skyhawks. And a fly ball, deep left field. And it is gone for the Eagles. Another home run. This time off of the bat of Mackenzie Kroll. Two run homer. We'll make the score now six to one in favor of the Eagles. And Chinsky once more squares that one up. It's deep. It's high, it is out of here for a home run by Hinchinski. Jesse Hinchinski makes it seven to nothing here in the bottom of the third as her teammates meet her at the plate for a celebration. Eagles are rolling on offense, seven hits, seven runs, and there's two outs in the, uh, in the third inning. The 1-0. Swung on and lifted high to center field. It is out of here. That baby is gone. A two run blast for Lauren Zimmerman. And we are tied at two. CSC Live is a member of the RMAC Network. Visit ShatteringState.tv to watch broadcast and rmacsports.org for Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference information as Lockamer, a Brady bomb to left field. That is way out of here. And put the run on the board. As a solo homer for Brady Lockamer and the Eagles starting to work into that deficit. A no doubter for Lockamer, a Brady bomb. Kroll on deck, doubled in her first at bat back in the second. As this one's lifted to left field to the wall, it is out of here. And another home run in the inning for the Eagles and Jesse Hinchinski coming through. A two run homer for Jesse Hinchinski. Ashlyn Baca comes in to score on the Hinchinski home run. And that is the third home run of the ball game for Shadron State. Another 3-2 pitch. 
Swung on, lifted, high and deep center field. It will fly on out of here. K-Mac coming through with a solo home run on senior day. A solo home run, dead center field over the trees. And she puts a charge in this one, high and deep center field. It will go as well. K-Mac, a two-run blast, and it's eight to four. One-two pitch misses, two and two. So the last foul ball is still stuck in the backstop. It's up above the camera, so you can't see it, folks, but it's just lodged in between the support of the fence and some chain link. And a full count pitch up and coming. So getting a shot of the foul ball is Jalissa Martinez draws a walk. Zimmerman batting 400 on the series, two for five, has an RBI. This one lifted high and deep left center field. It will fly on out of here. Home run, Lauren Zimmerman. And the Eagles are on the board, 2-0. That one is way out of here, left center field. Over the heads of the crowd on hand in left center. So the Eagles go up 2-0 on a challenging team in the Cougars. Really important. The 1-2 pitch. Lifted high and deep center field. It's got a chance. It will sail on out of here. K-Mac coming through. McKenzie Kroll, a solo home run to center field. And the Eagles now up 3-0 on the Cougars. So Kroll will stand in for another 3-2 pitch. The deliver delivery from Eastburn swung on and belted center field. It's gone. Two at bats, two home runs for K Mac. And that puts the Eagles back on top, six to four. Now that'll bring McKenzie Kroll. K Mac coming up. Two home runs for K Mac in this one. A solo home run and a two run homer. And she launches this one left field, goodbye. That is the third home run for Kroll. And folks, we saw this last year. She can really get on the tear if she can connect on those and she has done so here. Three home run day for Mackenzie Kroll. And it's now a seven to 10 ball game. Again, I'm thankful you've allowed me to tell the stories of our amazing student athletes both on and off the court for CSC. I've met so many great individuals whose connections I will always cherish as a handful of us, including myself, all enter different chapters of our lives. I don't know how much I'll be able to continue my podcast series, the CSC Sports Preview, that talks all about the CSC athletes and their respective sports. Tried my best to keep up on them throughout the year, but life's kind of gotten to me and slowed some things down. But uh, I'm working on getting some progress on those and hopefully maybe doing some more of those in the future, but only time will tell on those productions. As I sign off again, like you heard in the final broadcast, I would say follow your dreams and things that really align with your hobbies in life, and you never know where it might take you. In doing so, I ended up with this fun position on the headset with a great boss in Mr. Daniel Binkard and fellow coworkers like the one and only Sports Information Director, John Murphy. Additionally, I want to say thank you to Shadron State Athletics as a whole and Shadron State as a whole as well for our memorable time together. <laughs>